If you're like me and Excel is a major part of your working life, I'm sure you're always on the lookout for those little tips that will help make working with the software just that bit easier. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you some of my tips to help you achieve that. And please stick around until the end for my top tip on improving your Excel workflows. If every time you open Excel, you're greeted with the start screen asking you to choose a template for a new document when all you want is a blank workbook, then go to File, Options, General and Startup Options and turn off the start screen. Then every time you start Excel, it will just open with your default workbook. You can then press Ctrl and N to create a new blank workbook or go to File and New if you want to go back to the start screen and choose a template. This tip also works for Word and PowerPoint, but it is app specific, so you'd have to go and turn off the start menu in each of those programs separately through the same menu option. To quickly toggle auto filters on your data, use the keyboard shortcut Control, Shift and L. This works for ranges of data as well as tables and will allow you to easily turn off those filters if they come on by default when you start a new table. To enter multi-line text in a cell, use Alt and Enter when typing to start a new line. If you want to build multi-line text in a formula, use the char function with the value 10. All multi-line text must have the wrap text option turned on in a cell for it to appear on multiple lines. You'll be used to using your mouse wheel to scroll up and down in a spreadsheet. But if you hold down Ctrl and Shift while you're scrolling, it will allow you to scroll left and right. You could also just hold down control, which will allow you to zoom in and out of your worksheet. If you have multiple charts or shapes on a sheet that you're trying to align, instead of repeatedly using the align tools, hold down the alt key when dragging the object to snap the edges to the cell grid. You can achieve the same result without using the alt key by turning on the snap to grid option in the align menu. If you're typing a list in Excel that has repeating items, instead of typing the same thing over and over again, hold down the Alt and Down arrow key when you're at the bottom of the list to choose from a drop down of the values that you've already entered. If you're working in a worksheet with lots of data and you want to improve the visibility of which cell you have selected, go to the View menu and turn on Focus Cell. This will make it much easier to see which cell you are currently on. You can use the focus cell color menu to change the color of the highlights. If you want a visual indicator of whether or not your workbooks are automatically recalculating, turn on and customize your quick access toolbar. Select all commands in the choose commands from drop down and add automatic calculation and manual to your toolbar. You'll then be able to see based on which one is ticked as to the status of automatic calculations. To highlight differences between two columns of data, go to the Home tab, click Find and Select and go to Special or use the keyboard shortcut F5 and then choose Special and then choose Row Differences. The cells in the second column that differ from the first will be selected. If you want to do this for rows of data, choose column differences. My top tip in this video is to customize your default Excel workbook. This will save you some time whenever you're starting a new model and also helps ensure consistent formatting across your projects. Open a blank workbook and choose your preferred default fonts and color palette. If you're unsure how to create custom font and color palettes, I've covered these in separate videos and will provide links. Set up any custom cell styles that you want to use in the workbook. And if you want your default workbook to have any content in it or additional sheets, create those as well. Save the workbook as a template called book.xltx and put this in your Excel start folder. Excel will then recognize this as your default workbook and will open it each time you start Excel. If you've made it this far into the video, then I really hope you've found some useful tips to help you work better with Excel. Please hit that like button and consider subscribing to get notified of new content that's released on this channel. Thanks for watching.